Welcome to Workforce Solutions Cameron. This time, we will be reviewing unusual questions that may come up on your next job interview. We also like to call them trap questions. For the most part, they don't necessarily have a right or wrong answer, but because of their surprise factor, can make us stumble. Interviewers might use these trap questions to see how quick you can think on your feet, whether you think outside the box or not and to reveal other aspects of your personality. As you will see through our presentation, some of these unusual questions have a deeper meaning than you think. Not to worry, we have prepared advice for you. Most of us struggle to give thoughtful answers during a job interview, even more so when we are caught off guard. So, what should we do when we get a question we were not expecting? Our recommendation is, let your personality shine. This is your best asset. Here are our tips. Be honest. Never make false representations, even though you might really need or want the job. Always remain true to your capabilities and skills. Be eloquent. Always have an answer for all questions and be ready to explain your reasons why. Try to expand more than just a simple yes or no response, especially in a question with no right or wrong answer. Stay positive throughout. Share stories where you gain personal knowledge or growth. Don't get personal. Try to stay away from sharing personal information unless the question really asks for it. Unlike more typical questions such as, what is your greatest weakness? or questions focused on past experiences, hypothetical questions provide a window into your imagination and personality. When you get asked a hypothetical question, your interviewer wants to see how you think on your feet and to get an accurate sense of how you would approach regular work situations that may occur in your day-to-day. The interviewer also uses hypothetical questions to get you to relax a little and show off a little of your personality. But don't get too comfortable. It's important to back up your answers with some substantial reasons. Some of the questions might be, if you could be a famous person in the world, who would you be and why? If you were a part on a bicycle, what would you be and why? And if you could be an animal, what animal would you be? Even if they don't ask you why, you should be prepared to share the reasons behind your answer. Let's pick the last question. What animal would you be? Should you say that you want to be a lion be because that would make you the king of the jungle and everyone would have to bow to you? This might not be the best response to the question as the interviewer will probably think you will demand a lot of attention and will not get on along with your colleagues. The lion could be a good answer too. If we say the lion is a great leader, takes care of his pack, and has courage, that response can give a whole different meaning. Now the interviewer can see that you care about leadership, about being a team player, and about the courage needed to overcome obstacles. Questions about your preferences and opinions are meant to find whether you'd be a good fit for the team or the company. Take advantage of them to lighten the atmosphere and let your personality shine through. There's no right answer to any of these questions. Your explanation is what's of interest to hiring managers. Do you cease up at these questions or can you relax a bit and engage the interviewer with a short, entertaining story to justify your answer? Questions of this type include, what is better, a cat or a dog? What do you think of garden gnomes? Where do you like to eat? And what's your favorite flavor of ice cream? These questions might seem weird, and to tell you the truth, they are. But interviewers are looking for more complex answers than just, I hate cats, or dogs are loyal. They want to know a little bit about yourself. Maybe you like dogs because of how playful, fun, and loving they are, or because of the way they receive you when you get home. Either way, you can make the connection between these and how you care for others. Don't forget that your personal values are a good indicator of whether or not a job will be a good fit for you. 
Interviewers want to see how you deal with questions that provide a glimpse into your personal values and work ethics. They are not hoping for a particular answer, but they do want the question to be answered sufficiently. There are many questions that can shed light on your character or work ethics. Some of the most common are, what would be the one crime you would commit if you knew for certain you could get away with it? And if you did so, would your own conscience get to use since the judicial system didn't? And what's your worst sin of the seven deadly sins? For beginners, remember you don't want to accept you would commit a crime. Even though there might be some crimes that you would consider to be altruistic, not everyone would think the same way. This is a very tricky question, and we recommend basing your answer depending on the office culture you can grasp and have researched. As with most of these questions, there are no right or wrong answer. Just remember to explain your reasoning behind the specific answer. The final category of unusual interview question focuses on travel, both where you've been and where you'd like to be. The questions may look like this. What's the most unusual, unique, crazy, or weird place you have ever visited? And what is a rare, once-in-a-lifetime vacation you'd like to take? As with previous questions, recruiters are hoping your answer will help them determine if you'd be a good fit, as well as your ability to think quickly. Again, they are more concerned with the quality of your answer over one particular answer. The interviewer is looking for a well-structured answer with a good thought process behind your response. Something deeper than just saying, it is in my bucket list. The response should focus more on why it is on your bucket list. We know job interviews can be stressful, even more so with these wacky, unusual questions thrown into the mix. But remember, they present excellent opportunities to let your personality take the center stage. While you certainly want to talk about your talent and capabilities during a job interview, if you're not going to mesh with the personalities of the people in the company, chances are the job will be a bust. Thank you for your time. We hope you are not caught off guard in your next job interview. Workforce Solutions Cameron is here to help.